We are lighthouse keepers for the Chris Point Lighthouse Society, which you will see behind you. And uh, we are here this weekend. We actually have four of our kids with us. As members of the Lighthouse Society, you can come here and keep the uh, gift shop open, which is a new building, and the lighthouse open so that people can go up and see it. How long have you been volunteers here, and how did you get involved? We've been with the Lighthouse Society for two years. This is actually our first year as the Lighthouse Keepers. Uh, we came here visiting, um, randomly geocaching. looking out at lighthouses and uh, seeing that they had a society and their, their project to rebuild the lighthouse and surrounding um, buildings, and we thought we'd get involved. We live south of here, uh, just south of Lansing, Michigan. Okay. Um, and what do you feel like is your connection to this lake besides being lighthouse keepers for the summer. <laughs> Other than being residents of Michigan, mm -hmm. um, we come up to the UP a lot and really enjoy Lake Superior. I believe it's one of my favorite lakes of the Great Lakes. We actually spend, we come up to the Upper Peninsula several times a year and uh, uh, Beth is more interested in the lighthouses and uh, specifically uh, shipping history, shipwrecks. Mm -hmm. um, which we've pursued not only here, but down in the Carolinas, uh, down the east coast of the United States. And lighthouses are quite interesting. They're very unique, uh, both in structure and purpose, mm -hmm. depending on the location. Chris Point began as a uh, life-saving station back in uh, 1876. The lighthouse wasn't built until 1904 uh, as an actual light operating lighthouse. It was a stationary signal. Um, it was operational um, through 1965 when the light was finally extinguished and all the buildings, with uh, the exception of the tower, were destroyed. Mm, okay. That was done by the Coast Guard. By the Coast Guard? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Actually, this was uh, virtually a community. The property extended several hundred feet out into the lake farther than it is today. Um, and they had buildings which you actually, you, you can still see concrete piers out in the lake which were the foundations of buildings and uh, it was originally a all oh, about a 14 acre facility here and uh, really what prompted the uh, restoration was when Luce County brought a road in so that you could get here mm -hmm. um, uh, without a four-wheel drive it's still still winding and turning and so on but at least Mm -hmm. The average car can get here now. It's yeah. It's helped a lot. And and they really have a very dedicated batch of volunteers here. It's a really good group of people. It makes you glad to be part of it. So if I was going to tell someone who's going to visit, besides this lighthouse, what are the top five thing, places you would say? Here on Lake Superior? Yep, on Lake Superior to visit. Oh, oh there's many things. Uh, there's the... Uh, pictured rocks. Um, also the uh, sunken ship boat tour that's particularly interesting. In Munising. In Munising. Um, Copper Harbor is very interesting. We spend a lot of time in Copper Harbor. Um, yeah. Kitchen of Kippy Springs is neat for people that like the outdoors. Um, There's also Tequamanon Falls, yes. the upper and the lower. That's just, just east of us here. And actually, there's a lot of state and federal land. Uh, if you're outdoors people, just unlimited opportunities. And and to go back to another point that we touched on, we do a lot of geocaching. And for people that are not familiar with that, you you go to geocaching.com and find the caches in your area, plug them into a GPS, and go find them and sign the log uh, saying that you've been there. And uh, go back and enter it online. It may be as small as a film container, 35 millimeter film container, and it may be uh, one of the old military ammo boxes. Sometimes there's kids' toys and stuff in it. It's oh. it's it. The purpose is not for what's in the box. It's for uh, someone outside. has put that geocache there to show you an area that you may have missed driving by at 60 miles an hour on the road. Points of interest. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a great way to explore. 